This is the Dell 2015 XPS 13 9343 model number. And this is to address the issue of the space bar being uh it doesn't it doesn't snap like the other keys. Like right here is really constricted while right here it clicks here, but right here it feels like there's some resistance on it. So Here's how to fix that. So this is the bottom of the laptop, and there are a total of total of eight Torx screws. The one that looks like a star, and you're gonna need the T5, uh, the T5 bit, in order to remove them. And that's how it looks like. T5. So after removing all those screws. Essentially, you're going to want to use something like this, a plastic pry tool, not a metal one. You're going to want to go on all the edges, and you're going to want to press on it to break the snap on all around. Then this lid should come off with ease. Don't rush this process because you don't want to damage anything. And when you're snapping off the snap-ons, you got to be careful with the speaker drill right here. You don't want to damage that or push it in. So work your way around that. And this is how it looked like after the lid is removed. So the first step is to remove the battery. And there are three Phillips screws. One right there, two, three. And actually there's one more right there. That is a smaller one. After you remove that, you wanna carefully peel off this speaker wire, right speaker wire that adheres onto the battery. So you want to gently take them all off. Alright, once they're off they should look like that. Be careful not to tug on it too hard because the connection point is right there. And this is the left speaker wire. You're going to want to remove that as well. Now the battery is free to be removed. And keep in mind this will still be connected. I've already removed it but this is the battery that connects to the motherboard you're gonna that's gonna still be connected so first you're gonna wanna go right here on each side and bring it up slowly and just look around to make sure nothing's still connected that can be damaged when you pull it so you're gonna wanna put a, put the battery in a placement where you're at advantage and you can easily pull out that connector right here and when it's still connected, there's this black piece of foam adhesive on it. You want to remove that. After removing it, place it aside so you don't lose it. And you're going to want like a needle. And you're going to want to poke into that hole. Because this thing essentially locks it into place. So you want, you want to ease that out of there and then slowly wiggle it out. No force because you don't want to mess up any of the wires. So, after that, the battery can be lifted and placed aside. Second step after removing the battery is to remove the trackpad, which is right here. So, first you want to remove this connection to the motherboard that leads out of the motherboard by... Let me try to get focus right now. You want to pry up gently with the plastic prior on this plastic hinge right here just gently pull it up and then after it's up you grab this blue tab and you pull up this way once that's out of the way you want to remove the screws which i've already removed two two so actually i forgot to put this thing back right here this is stuck on by adhesive and it's just a foam, very dense foam type substance. So after removing the four screws, you want to just carefully peel it off, put it to the side. Right here. Then you're going to want to open it like that and then place any a tissue, a clean tissue underneath so you don't end up scratching 
after removing, uh, scratching the screen after removing the trackpad. So from underneath, you're going to press towards this area right here. And if you do it slowly, it will just come up just like that. And this bottom part, just remove it out of the way. You can close it back. And this part of the screen is protected. So, here is the problem. This tape wire right here is actually loose. It's not snug pulled it's not snugly pulled this way and adhered back onto the back right here. So there's there's like uh there's excess wire that's not being pulled back enough. So the space bar which is right right here is hitting this wire which is loose underneath. So what you want to do is okay pretend this is connected. So you peel off this plastic right here and then you pull up on this plastic tab right here as in as like one finger here and one finger here so you don't break this tab and you pull it out and once out you have to gently you see that it creates that kind of surface rip but that's totally fine just do it very gently until you peel it all the way loose okay and now it's off so essentially you're gonna want to tighten the wire by pulling on it bringing it up with tension uh, I recommend doing this with two hands but I'm recording with one so I can only do it with one so bring tension on these ones so it doesn't affect the space bar underneath and tape it back down so now these are snug and there's tension on them not too much tension but you know use your judgment open it back up and test how it feels it should feel much more responsive but there's still a little resistance and it's just a failure design by Dell but it should feel a lot better yes this definitely feels like a space bar now I would I would say it's 90 90 percent better 95 maybe very good. Now you want to plug this ribbon back into the motherboard and what you want to do is you want to put it in snug enough so that when you close this plastic tab right here it should just cover that white line just like that. You can't see the white line anymore. And your wire might get rippled a little bit so you would want to consider removing this top bar right here and trying to fix the ripple there we go there's a small bulge that comes up but that would be totally fine when everything is put back together and the batteries on top of it put the track pad back in Attach the cable the same way, put back the adhesive dense foam sticker on it, screw back in the four screws, and basically reverse process for putting everything back together, and it should feel much better. Hopefully this helped you. If you enjoyed this video, or if it helped you, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you own this computer, you really love it, and you wouldn't want a flawed space bar. And enjoy! And just remember, I am not liable for any accidents that can happen while doing this, so just be very careful throughout all the procedures, and make sure to ground yourself by touching metal, and not to generate any large static electricity by rubbing yourself on like plastic or carpet or anything just stay still 
be patient, and you get the job done. Enjoy. If the first method of tightening the ribbon cable underneath the spacebar doesn't work, or works about 50%, here's the second method of how to make it work 100% and have the spacebar rebound very nicely. So to do this, we must get gain access to underneath the spacebar. So grab your pry tool, go from the side, and essentially you just want to remove the spacebar key right here. Everything is snapped on as long as you take your time, don't exert too much force, you'll be able to remove the spacebar. So I got that underneath. Place my thumb under there. And just pull up. You can see that underneath the metal bracket is getting disattached. And now that the bottom's done, go ahead and work on the top. another retaining clip on the other side this is the right go to the left side instead of prying it up this way you can do it from here and there we are all right so here's the space bar removed so when you want to install it these two clips are more narrow and these bottom ones or more wide. So if you look back here, it actually clips on the bottom wide ones go onto here. The top narrow ones go right there. So that's how you tell the orientation when you want to put it back. So moving on to the problem. Just gently lift that. You can see these are the wires that got in the way and if you have yours open up right now you can see that they are actually in fact a little bit elevated popped up and I don't even know why they design it like this but you know that's 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 what making this space bar not being not snappy so what I did was I took off this bottom railing right here you just slide it over to one side there we go, and the other side should come out just like that. And that's how it looks like. So what I did, if you look at it from top, it's parallel. It's not bent like this, nor like this. But if you look at it from the side, before it was straight, but what I did was I curved, I bent it like this, like an arc. So the ribbons underneath will not be pushing against this metal reinforcement bar for the space bar. So with that done, go ahead and install it back. Starting with this side, bring it into the hole over there. Alright, now same for this side. Okay, and you can see how it arcs up and it does not hit the wires. So get the orientation correct and snap this key back on make sure the support bracket is even on both sides make sure these tabs are intact not damaged and then lay it on top straight as possible and it should just snap right in That difference is just amazing. That that just finished the job. Feels great now. I would say this is a hundred percent back to normal. Alright. 
So if you found this video helpful or if you liked it, I would really appreciate a thumbs up so I know that it helped you and it would definitely encourage me to do more of these helpful videos for the future. Thank you. Have a great day.